We love Echo. Why? Four piece rods. Uh, a company that we, we know the people. We know Tim Rajev. He designs these things. He's an awesome caster. We fish these rods. Uh, I don't fish every rod, but between me and Chris, uh, Nate, uh, Rob, um, everybody, we fish all these rods. We don't carry anything that we don't fish and feel comfortable with. Four piece rods, rod case, uh, high performance rods, excellent value. The Echo 2 comes with two tips, amazing. Uh, Input from folks like uh, Deck Hogan in designs. Highly, some of these are highly specialized. So what we're going to go through here, Chris is going to talk about the first three, and then I'm going to talk about three that I've spent the most time fishing. So we're going to start with the Echo Carbon. Echo Carbon is $169. Uh, most of the models range between three and six weight. It's a moderately fast action rod. It is a really nice rod to cast at short distances. The rod loads nicely at the tip. When you need to press on it a little bit and get some distance, you've still got that going through the butt. Uh, the rod is an excellent one to start with, but you know, it's not just a beginner's rod. It's something you can stick with. You're not gonna grow out of it completely. Really like the Echo Carbon. I feel a little bit like Vanna White here showing, <laughs> showing off stuff. <laughs> Uh, cool, cool reel seats too, I might add. Very nice reel seats. So here is the Echo Ion. Ion. This this rod is $189.95. It's probably about $50 too cheap. He he heavier butt. Looks like a... a fighting butt on fighting, there. Thank good, you, fighting good, butt. Good reel seat. Good cork quality. Uh, these rods are built really well. Uh, they, they all come with a rod case, but we love these ions for summer steelhead single-handed fishing. 10 foot 6, 10 foot 7, 10 foot 8, fantastic models. And by the way, uh, the spay craze is wonderful, but there are a zillion people who both haven't transitioned to spay fishing or have, and they still fish single-hand rods. So single-hand rods got, got a definite place in your arsenal. Here's an Echo 2. What's so hot about an Echo 2? Echo 2 saltwater specific model. Super fast action, big fighting butt, 9 foot 7, 8, 9, and 10 weights. This is a 9 foot model, uh, specifically quick placement, accurate saltwater fishing. We took this rod to the Bahamas on a trip uh, last fall, and a nine foot eight weight. Just a fantastic performer. I mean, it stuck right in there with all the Sages and Winstons and everybody else. Two tips, lifetime warranty, Echo 2 saltwater, great rod. The thing I would add is I've, I've fished the Echo 2, I think it's a 12 and a half foot nine weight. Uh, I fish it as a single hander with Chinook salmon. That is a tough, performing rod and I fish it as an overhand rod. Uh, when your shoulder starts getting sore, casting shooting heads, fishing a two-hand rod overhand is amazing. You do all the work with your underhand, consider that. Okay, we're going to move on now. Deck Hogan uh, two-hand rods. Oh, thank you so much, Deck. I love your rods. Um, I first fell in love with, this is the 5122. Echo Deck Hogan, uh, five foot, five weight, twelve foot, two inch. I thought, you know, this is going to be a little bit too light for a steelhead, but maybe I'll use it for trout on the Deschutes. This has actually become my my one one of my two go to rods for summer steelhead here in the Willamette Valley. I'm sure John Day, Upper Deschutes, if the wind isn't howling, this throws a uh, it, they recommend a, a 390 Skagit. Uh, I like to fish a 420 Skagit. Uh, this has the heft to, to handle a summer steelhead. Uh, no, you don't horse them in, but you can play them quite nicely. Very long casts. Uh, Scandi compacts, oh my gosh. Wonderful rod. So light, you almost don't even know it's there. So the other rod I fished, I fished this rod this winter, uh, it's a Deck Hogan, it's a 13-3 weight. And I fished it with a six, 600 grain Skagit Compact and I fished it with up to a 14 foot T17 tip. That's a lot of tip. 
with big intruders. This, this rod, one of the things about the Deck Hogan series, they're all very intuitive to fish. Full flex, deep loading, easy to cast. Uh, they have lighter and heavier Deck Hogan's. Uh, another rod I want to tell you about briefly, Tim Raja two-hand rod. Um, I was surprised. They, they, this is a Tim Ray Jeff special. I thought this is going to be a little bit too technical for me to cast. I thought I was going to do well with the Deck Hogan and have a tough, tough time with this. Wrong. Very intuitive. Very powerful. Excellent rod. No trouble adapting. The final rod I want to mint that I want to mention right now is an Echo Switch Rod. This is the first year I fished a switch rod. I, <laughs> I've not been a big fan of switch rods. Uh, principally because I had not fished them. This is a four weight Echo Switch Rod. Fished it here on the McKenzie. Absolutely effortless use of indicators and big nymphs. This, this, um, it's, uh, what is it? I don't even remember. Uh, ten foot. Um, ten foot eight inch. Ten foot, ten foot ten inch. Okay. It's a four weight I fished it with a 40 plus line six weight, I think a 40 plus extreme. Um, some of the Rio Nymph lines would probably work very well. A little bit light for the spadicator, but this rod very effortlessly handles, and a four, four weight spay rod plays trout very, very nicely. You can overhand cast it, you can single overhand cast, you can two hand overhand cast it. You can spay cast with it. Very, very nice rod. I'm looking forward to fishing this one in some heavier weights also. Echo Rod, Tim Ray Jeff, Deck Hogan, great range.